I'm thirsty, I'm hungry, I'm starting to get cold. Yeah. But I can't help thinking what a lovely view of this bottom I've got from this angle. <laughs> of Tasmania sits 150 miles south of mainland Australia. These fierce seas and rocky reefs have sunk over 1,000 ships. It's a formidable place to survive. That is a strong current and strong wind. All of a sudden, unexpected light, we got a puncture in our raft. <laughs> Hang on this raft. It's gonna be our shelter. We don't get out of the cold. Hypothermia will set in, so we gotta think smart and act quick so we don't freeze to death. Oh, that's cold. All right, baby, real quick. So much water in the water. We got an icy Arctic wind coming from the southwest. That's gonna freeze us really fast. So we gotta get out of this wind while we got some sun. We gotta try to stay in the sunlight and stay warm. So let's go over here, get these wet clothes off. Okay. Once my skin dries, that's gonna give me a little bit more warmth than that wet clothing. So, it's skivvies, combat boots. Look at it. <laughs> what are you wearing? You look like a deformed penguin or something. I don't care, I'm warm. All right, baby. Well, I'm glad you're warm. Mm. I'm glad we made that one. Mm. That was awful. Mm. Okay. Oh, look dope. I gotta find something that's gonna block that wind. That wind alone will kill us. It's looking good. So this right here, I got protection. All three sides, open to the sun, to the sea, and away from the wind. All right, baby doll. All right. I found us a hooch. It's completely out of the way. Really? <sighs> okay, so the next thing we gotta do, honey, we gotta get this shelter built. So now it's just how can we get this to be as taut back that way as we can, you know, and then this to be as taut this way as we can. I'm thirsty, I'm hungry, I'm starting to get cold. Yeah. But I can't help thinking what a lovely view of this bottom I've got from this angle. <laughs> Just look at this incredible bull kelp. Now it gets its name, because when it gets washed up on shore, it looks like a gigantic bullwhip. I mean, look at that. Whoa! And it involves this stuff. I'm going to make a container out of kelp. It's like hide. It's so thick. I mean, this is a sharp knife. Way right. Now I'm going to try and put my plan into action. Holy cow. I bring you a gift. I see, oh, it looks thing. as heavy as you. Well, my plan is to craft this leathery seaweed into some kind of drinking vessel. That's a pretty cool idea. You came up with that on your own? Nope. I learned about it when I researched the Aborigines who lived here. He's looking at me like a the hog with a wristwatch. That's my saying, looking at something like a hog looking at a wristwatch. Right, okay. Okay, let's just, just try this. Poke one more right there. There we go. We've done it! That is a lot better than the shell that I sent her out to get. She came up with a really, really wonderful contraption. Well, it wasn't my contraption. I did that from research. All right, honey, I got an idea. This little pillow is now going to become our canteen. What I'm going to do is make a little slice, use that to hold some water. What water? Well, that's the thing. So I'm going to go out and forage for some more water. Now, what I need you to do is go work the shoreline and try to find us some food. See a different kind of grass than all the other grass around it. It's greener and shinier. Okay, 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 okay. Some swamp. Swamp is water. Woo! There we go. Couldn't really drink it like this. You can get some diseases from the animal feces that are all over the land up there. You can get E. coli, Giardia, Coccidia, and that stuff can kill you. That stuff can kill you. Uh I think I found myself a pretty ugly water source, but that's water. <laughs> that feels good. That feels so good. Tasmania is one of the world's biggest exporters of abalone, and that is what I'm after. 
It's not, it's one of them, it's one of them. Look at that. I mean, this is heavy. This is a meal. I've never eaten one of these before and it looks like a gigantic slug. Hello, baby. Did you get any water? Yes, I did. You got water? <laughs> oh, you're all sweaty. Oh, you're all sweaty. What type of water it's, is it? It's, it's, River it's, water? No, it's underground spring water. It's coming up out of the ground, but it's coming up out of the ground under a big field with a lot of scat. You know, it's got a little little stinky smell to it. Wow, that's really bizarre. It looks completely clear, but it smells of poo. And look at these, look. I just meant to show you. Look at this. Wow, that is a lot of food, baby. These are abalone. We've got to eat them quickly. I'm starting to make friends with this one. Don't make friends with the chap. This one's got such personality. I'm such a loser. I can't believe I've made friends with a mollusk. I was gone just a little happy. while. Look at you. <laughs> Leave me for a slimy thing. And we drink this dirty water. We can get sick and die just as quick as if we don't have any water at all. Ow. Watch it. Hot rocks, hot rocks. This is amazing. What is remarkable is the water is boiling and the kelp is not burning. It's like a little volcano. And the irony is, it smells like sewage. <laughs> Okay. Guys, it's so funny. This filthy, germ-choked water was crystal clear when it went in, and now it's sterile and clean. It's brown. <laughs> it stinks. Would you like to do the honors and have yeah. the first taste? Oh. It, it taste? tastes disgusting. <laughs> I bet. I bet, but it's safe. Oh, heck, that tastes like toilet water. It doesn't sound like I've made it. You brought it. Man, it smells and tastes like poo. Look. It's good. It's not very nice. Look at those. Nice. Looks like the rain brought out the leeches. Look at them. They're just sitting Look there. Look at their happy. heads just sucking. All right, well, we can't have that now. Let me fix you right up. Hold on. Dr. Hawk's in the office. I'm gonna burn it off with a fire stick. All right, all right, here we go. Careful with that near my tummy. They're sucking your blood and they're opening you up to infection, so we need to get rid of them. Come on, get off. He's just trying to, he's trying, he's trying to just stay right there. Oh, oh he loves my blood. He, he, there you go, there you go. There he's off. off. That's one. Oh. All right. Leeches inject an anesthetic so your skin is numb to their bite. If you leave them, they can suck up to five times their weight in blood. There we go. Get off. Oh, oh. Check my back. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Ah. There's nothing there. It's not funny. I'm hungry. Let's eat. One of man's first recipes was bread. So what I'm trying to do is grind up the seeds from the grass, then I'm gonna mix them with water and bake some kind of bread. So let's just see what happens. It's not bread, it's not porridge, it's not cake, I don't know what it is. No, it does look really good. The grain tastes like the smell of the food I used to feed my guinea pig. But it's definitely filling. Mm, it is. We're finally getting to go to bed with a full belly. Mm -hmm.